Hey guys, it's Darren with East Woodland Survival. Pouring the rain outside today, so I thought I'd do some video inside uh, at my little workshop. It's not much, but it uh, gives me a place to go, I guess, get out of the rain. Uh, today we're going to talk about whipping rope or whipping tools uh, with rope. It's a pretty simple process and uh, it gives you a little extra cordage, a little, little extra non-slip grip on things. Uh, as you can see, this has been whipped. It's just a rope that's wrapped around, and we'll show you how to do this. You can actually take this back off if you need it and use it for cordage. And uh, I'll throw this down here and show you some examples of some, some of the things that I have whipped up. All right, I got some, uh, got a hatchet here that's just been uh, kind of whipped up. It's just got some bank line around it. You can use pretty much anything bank line, paracord, anything to whip with. And, uh, you know, if I'm working up on this for uh, cleaning an animal or something, then, uh, you know, it gives me a little extra grip, my hand's wet or something. And then I can always take this off and use it again, you know, for, for cordage if I need. Um, traditionally, it's done for uh, whipping the ends of rope. Like this keeps the rope from fraying out. And this is just bank line. And then uh, you can see another example here. This is some twisted paracord cordage, and it's just been whipped. The end of it's been whipped. So I'm going to show you the process really quick. It's pretty simple. I untied the other, or I untied the whipping on the end of this one to show you the process. I'm just going to use some bank line today. You can, like I say, you can use paracord, whatever you want to use. You know, will work. We're just going to get all probably about uh, two feet or so of this bank line. And I'm going to cut that loose. I'm going to adjust my camera down a little bit, guys, so you can see the process. Okay, guys, like I say, i got about two feet of bank line here. It's a pretty simple process to start. If you start and just make a loop in your rope or in your bank line, just a loop like this. We don't want it quite that long, maybe about like that. And we're going to lay it directly on top of our uh, rope. And I'm just going to pinch it up here at the top with my finger. This line, which is the long line, we are going to start rolling it around. We'll move it up a little bit. We're just going to start twisting it around our rope. Like so. We're just going to twist it up all the way out. And then when we get to the end like this, we're going to take and we're going to come in through. We're just going to take this this line and we're just either you can pull it over or under. I like pushing it under or over, it doesn't really matter. Like so, through this loop. Hold this in for a second. Grab the tail that you've got up here. I think that's called a tag in. And you're just going to pull. And you're just going to keep pulling that until it hits about halfway in the middle. And that's it. That's the entire process of whipping a rope or whipping tool handles or whatever. Uh, pretty simple, pretty easy. And then you've got a little bit of extra bank line if you need it. And I just cut the end of this off. Leave a little bit of a tag so I can pull that on out if necessary, if I need it. And then, uh, but you can undo this. Use this bank line for extra cordage. And it also keeps the end of this rope from fraying off. Or like I say, it's a good, good thing for... Uh, any of your tools, just to whip it up, gives you a little bit more of a non-slip area. It's just a strike force. It's been whipped and uh, kind of gives you a little bit more of a grip, especially if it's cold or anything. All right, guys. Well, this is Darren with East Woodland Survival. I really hope you uh, like the video. I thank you much for watching. 
please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, really appreciate everything, guys, and we're approaching 2,000 uh, subscribers, so keep it up. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Hope to see you in the woods.